Okay, so I've removed the cover off of the Haas TM1 because we're having troubles with the tool release. The tool release was not releasing all the way and the air that's supposed to come through the spindle and clean it out was not coming out, it was clogged. So what happened is we found some black gunk stuck between the tool release piston and the draw bar. And so we cleaned that out. So we also found some black gunk up here. And where that black gunk came from was mysterious at first, but I figured it out and I'm gonna talk about that later. So this is the spindle assembly with the cover removed. This is the pre-charged solenoid, and so it was clogged up in here, and air was not passing through to pre-charge the tool release piston. So it was slamming hard against the draw bar because the only pressure that was coming through was the high pressure from here. But now it's fixed and works well. Almost. This is the low pressure regulator for the tool release piston on the Haas TM1. And you see that the in inlet is up to 300 PSI and the outlet is 10 PSI. No air was coming out this. It has this brass piece that has a little tiny hole in there. There's, I guess it's just a pressure relief. The air was coming out of this, but no air was coming out of this elbow. We opened it up and we looked in there. I thought it was maybe the pressure regulator that was bad, but I opened up the pressure regulator. It looked fine inside. And inside of this joint here, this 90 degree angle, was this gunk that looks like rubber, grease, I'm not sure what it is. It's, it's soft, it's kind of rubbery. It's like butyl rubber, sort of. It's mysterious, so that was blocking up that angle. And there was nothing inside of the pressure regulator, so I suspect that this got blown back up the line in reverse. Okay, so this is where we found all the black sticky gunk. It was up here in this joint. And what I figured out is most likely that this Humphreys valve has gone bad. There's a seal or a gasket in there that has gone bad. And it got blown back in this direction up this pipe and got stuck in this fitting. And so we also found some of that black gunk clogging the space between the tool release piston and the draw bar. And so we cleaned that out because there was not a lot of air coming through the draw bar and coming out of the spindle here. But I'm wondering if there's also a clog further down. And it was the same stuff that we found up here. So I suspect that there's a seal in the Humphreys valve. It went bad, it got blown up this way, got blown out into here and out that hole there. So I'm gonna have to get a new Humphreys valve. What led me to suspect that this Humphreys valve is bad is that, so when I do a tool release, this solenoid activates first for a short period of time and it puts low pressure up, only up to 10 PSI out this side and it should feed through here and go into the piston and it pushes the piston down lightly so it doesn't slam against the draw bar. So I'm disconnecting the main tool release solenoid and now it's just the pre-charged solenoid that's running. So I'm going to push the tool release and you can see the piston go down slowly for a short period of time, touches the top, and you don't hear any leak other than just the air being released afterwards. But now if I plug in the tool unclamped solenoid, I push the tool release, you're going to hear a lot of air leaking. So it's not just coming out of the bottom of the spindle, as some of it should, a lot of it's also coming out of this pressure regulator. And that shouldn't be happening. And specifically air is coming out of the back side here of this pressure regulator. So what's okay. happening is the high pressure is coming through and it's not just being fed down into the tool release piston, it's also bypassing this Humphreys valve, which I assume works like a, uh, like a piston in there where it gets moved back and forth, so whichever side has higher pressure shuts off the other side and the, and the air gets diverted out the outlet. 
So when there's no air pressure on this side and there's the low air pressure here, it pushes the piston over and the low air pressure gets pushed down. But then when you turn on the high air pressure, it comes over, pushes the piston over, and then the high air pressure goes down in there. But what's happening is the gaskets on here are bad and so air is being bypassed and going up here and coming out of the pressure regulator where it shouldn't be coming out. And that means that not enough air is coming out of the spindle. So I could take this Humphreys valve apart, but it's probably an inexpensive part and I should just replace it because I may not have the seals for that. So this is the spindle assembly with the cover removed. 